children are strange creatures. It's odd. I find them at the same intellectual level, if not better than my own. And I, I have a strange... Do I call it fear of children? One second, you're quite smudgy. Let me help you out there. Oh, look at that. You, well, I think you might still need your glasses, but or at least this will do. But... Yes, I, I, there's a strange, I don't know if you call it a fear of children, but they seem to, or at least I kind of, I interact with them as if they're some kind of intellectual equals as my own, and I don't really sit on some, but um, I wonder if it's in their innocence or something. It's in their, they look at you, and they're so easily deterred to either love you or to hate you or fear you or something. And so I'm always in this panic as to how to behave. Um, I try to be friendly, but then sometimes I'm like, Ugh, I don't know, oh, sorry, child, hello. And some, but this interesting, some children in their naive w ways, they just, they plop themselves basically on you and it's like, hello. And you're like, oh, hello, child. Thank you for interacting with another human being. I, as a mature individual, never do something like that. But then you realize, oh, this is actually quite valuable. And I think that's a part of the intellectual part where it's just like they are not bound by certain things. And so it feels like they have a better sense of understanding certain social things because they don't have those prohibitors. At least yet. <laughs> Life hasn't butt them in the butt yet. <laughs> and and create um, some, uh, what do you call it? Um, yeah, fears and anxieties or whatever. Um, realizing, oh, the world is not so cheesy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I wonder if that's kind of the source of it, but it's a very strange thing. But then, you know, if you really go into depth with them, then you find out, oh, they don't have certain con or like conceptual things in their mind yet, and most they can talk about is Minecraft. But, for the most part, that first interaction is always an odd one, and, and they always seem to be far more intellectually advanced than I could ever imagine. Unless I was talking to myself as a kid, I would have been like, this guy is an idiot. <laughs> you go, kid. <laughs> anyway, no, I wasn't that bad. Maybe it was. I don't know. So, you, INTPs, how do you deal with children? How do you interact with them? I want to know. And other types, let me know also. How do what what how do you see children? How do you interact with them? How do you see how do you I'm repeating myself. Means I'm probably on um not gonna say just kidding, I'm not on anything. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys in another video, another life. You never know. Peace out.